My name? My name is Fania Rafida Alia. I'm from SMP Ita Akma Sabila in Cirebon. Oh, you want me to tell you a story? Okay, I will tell you a story with the title Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella. She lived with the wicked stepmother and two stepsisters. They treated Cinderella very badly. One day, they were invited for a grand ball in the king's palace. What a good news! But sadly, Cinderella's stepmother would not let her go. Cinderella was made to sew new party gowns for her stepmother and stepsisters and curl their hair. Then they went to the ball, leaving Cinderella alone at home. Cinderella felt very sad and she began to cry. But while she was crying, suddenly a fairy godmother appeared and said, Don't cry, Cinderella. I will send you to the ball. Cinderella was very surprised, but she calmed down her heart and replied, But I don't have a gown to wear for the ball. Then the fairy godmother waved her magic wand and poof! She changed Cinderella's old clothes into a beautiful new gown. She then touched Cinderella's feet with her magic wand and poof! She had beautiful glass slippers. How will I go to the ball? Cinderella asked. Then the fair godmother found six mice playing near a pumpkin in the kitchen. She then touched them with her magic wand and boom! The six mice became four shiny black horses and two coachmen and the pumpkin became a golden coach. Cinderella was overjoyed and set off for the ball in the golden coach drawn by the four black horses. But before leaving, the fairy godmother said, Cinderella, this magic will only last until midnight. You must reach home by then. When Cinderella entered the palace, everybody was struck by her beauty. Nobody, not even the stepmother and stepsister, knew who she really was in her pretty clothes and shoes. The handsome prince also saw Cinderella and fell in love with her at first sight. He went to her and asked for a dance. Yes, of course, that was Cinderella's answer. Then they danced all night and nobody recognized the beautiful dancer. While Cinderella was dancing happily with the prince, she finally remembered her fairy godmother's words. Then she rushed to go home immediately. Cinderella ran out of the palace without a word for the prince. But one of his glass slippers came off when she was running away, but she did not turn back for it. Thankfully, she reached home just as the clock struck 12. Then everything, everything changed into how it was supposed to be. Her golden coach turned back into a pumpkin, the horses into mice, and her fine bag gown into rags. Her stepmother and stepsisters reached home shortly after that. They were talking about the beautiful lady who had been dancing with the prince. The handsome prince, who fell in love with Cinderella, wanted to find out who the beautiful girl was. But he did not even know her name. But he found one of the glass slippers that came off Cinderella's foot as she ran home. The prince said, I will find her. The lady whose foot fits this glass slipper will be the one I marry. The next day, the prince and his servants went to all of the houses in the kingdom. They wanted to find the beautiful lady who fits the glass slipper. Then all of the women in the kingdom tried on the glass slipper, but it won't fit any of them. 
Cinderella's stepsisters also tried on the little glass slipper. They squeezed and pushed hard their feet into it, but it still won't fit them. The, but Cinderella's stepmother won't let Cinderella try on the little glass slipper. But the prince saw her and said, Let her also try on the glass slipper. Then, finally, Cinderella tried on the little glass slipper. Then everybody was surprised. The glass slipper fits her perfectly. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you know what happened. He then married Cinderella, and together they lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.